in on this Monday. You're watching First Shift. I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Coming up, what groundbreaking battery technology one startup company is working on developing. But first, your morning headlines. We will start with Kia. Looks like the Korean automaker is increasing its electric vehicle plans from earlier this year. Instead of its original plan to have 11 EVs by 2026, Kia says it will now introduce 14 fully electrified vehicles by 2027. This includes eight BEVs in the U.S. by 2029, the redesigned Nero EV, and the EV9 three-row SUV that it will build starting in 2023. Kia also says it will convert half of its new vehicle sales from gas to electric vehicles by 2050. Staying on the topic of EVs, if you are wondering if you can afford to buy an EV, you are not alone. U.S. Representative Debbie Dingell says right now EVs are not affordable to enough Americans. This can be a problem in the long run for automakers because she says if people can't afford them, automakers won't be able to sell them. However, Dingell did say she is working with all stakeholders to make sure something happens. In the market for a Tesla? If yes, no purchasing one of their vehicles in the U.S. may cost you more because of price hikes. Tesla says its price increase is in response to persistent global supply chain problems and soaring raw material costs. If you look at the electric car maker's website, you can see how it upped its Model Y long-range price by $3,000. This is after delaying U.S. deliveries of some long-range models by up to a month. If you drive a Chrysler, Stellantis says it may be under a recall. The automobile company is recalling over 250,000 Chrysler vehicles in the U.S. following a pair of safety defects. The defects were discovered in certain models and could affect fuel supply or rear view image display. In addition, it reported over 248,000 vehicles outside of U.S. borders that could also be impacted by the recall. Stellantis will notify affected dealers and begin notifying affected owners of both recalls on July 29th. With all this talk of EVs and how the auto industry is trying to make the transition to sell more of them, one startup company called Awesome Energy is looking to bring groundbreaking battery technology to the automotive market. The company's CEO says it is making progress on developing batteries that aim to be more cost-effective and less flammable than traditional batteries. They are doing this by using magnesium oxide as the primary material on the cathodode and the system will be aqueous, meaning it will use salt water instead of an organic solvent. Also, the company's batteries differ from many now in the market in that they do not use lithium and cobalt. Production of the batteries will most likely take place in the U.S. with Massachusetts being a possible location. The CEO also says as of now, the product remains in the eighth inning of testing. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great day and we'll see you Tuesday morning.